Hello everyone and welcome to level 3 of Dead Cyborg. Let's play, shall we? So this time I am most definitely not going to fuck around so much. Uh, I spent way too much time looking at things when the answers were kind of more obvious than that. So this time I'm just going to kind of just kind of run around and look at everything that's obvious. Radioactivity is killing Jack, poor guy. Fortunately, I was the first to wake up from the cryostasis. I must learn how to build machine parts into my body. Alright, you do that. That sounds kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Very polluted liquid. Might be oil or acid. Seems to be poisonous. Alright. Oh, what's this? Oh, we, we can have this. That's a large screwdriver. For screwing really large people. What? I'm bleeding all over. What'll happen if I die? I don't know. I have no memories I can hold on to. Oh, another spider. Oh, hey, look at this. I want to get in there. I feel like it's important. What's that? What's this? Oh, look. It's an old man's cane. Uh, some poor robot is out there walking around with no cane, stumbling around or something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's a guess. I guess. Oh, 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 dead people. Dead people. Maybe. Perhaps there are more Walter Whites. Whoa, dude! That's not a body, that's a... That's a... An explosive barrel. A robot head. Alright. He's not even alive, he doesn't have no battery. Alright, cool. What's this? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy again. Looks like a cross between a baby and... I don't know, a man. It kind of looks like a man with a baby face. And more dead Walter Whites. A damaged gas mask. Useless. Better not look inside. Blah, blah, blah. And... I don't know. This Jack guy is still complaining about shit. So basically, there's something around here in this place that's stealing body parts. It stole both of this guy's feet. It stole hands and shit before that. Not a good time. Not a good time at all. What's this? That's nothing. That's just an electronic device. Move! Yeah! Perseverance paid off, kids. Persevere. Maybe humans can answer the questions of existence. We robots haven't figured out anything. Maybe the same is true for humans. Alright, what we got here? Anything? Was that a waste of time? Was that, a, was that all we could do? Oh, what's this up here? I can't read it. Danger. Okay. As you knock the panel, you hear it's hollow behind. Come on. What if I use my screwdriver? Can I can I unscrew the panel? Try to unscrew the panel, but the tip of the screwdriver is too blunt. Okay, it was a good try. It was a good try. We're definitely getting somewhere. Okay. Oh, another robot. This one's like swimming. Oh, this is oil heaven. I've, I'll never corrode. I'll never die. And uh, I'm just gonna walk across here and find out what this says. Jack, being all melodramatic. A robot's soul is the core of its memory. Alright. Whoa! Another hollow panel. Can this one? Can this one be done? No. Still, screwdriver's too blunt. Alright, so we need to find something to unblunten our screwdriver. Okay, what's this say? These blasted robots have stolen my hollow diaries. I hope my secrets stay hidden from humans. That's that robots of the bad shit. A massive ventilating fan. Unscrew that shit. Whoa! With some difficulty, I've sharpened the screwdriver using the shaft of the fan. Excellent. Where first? Do we go this way, or do we go that way? Let's go this way, because that's why it's right in front of our faces. I'm old-fashioned like that. Take the easy way. Whoop! All right, that was a uh, quick. That was a real quick. That was a real quick screw, and another one. Man, I feel like fucking James Bond, just flying around. Oh, whoa! Look at all these dead robots. What's this do? Okay, some kind of switch, and there's these things everywhere. People say you shouldn't moralize. That's paradoxical. When you say this, you're already moralizing. Robot heads everywhere. Okay, the three versions. 
What was this? What was that noise? I'm Nobod One, the robot. You are very cool. I'm wise. I can predict the end of the world. It's easy to calculate when the world ends. Go on. Oops. I didn't need to do that. The average human lives about 70 years. Deduct your current age from this number. The result is more or less the time remaining until the end of the world. Because if you die, that's the end of the world. Am I clever or what? Man, this game is so philosophical. You ever, you, did you notice that? Acid spray. Alright. This is kind of shit you talk about in philosophy. Like, what happens when you die? Are you the only person alive? It seems that people don't know the meaning of life, and they don't even seem to be looking for it. What can a robot do? Alright. Well, we got acid spray. I don't know what acid spray is for, but let's go check out the other hallway, huh? Let's not spend too much time fiddling. Maybe if there's three buttons, there's three different places you can go. Right, here's another one. Oops. Screws are damaged. You can't unscrew. Oh, okay. Okay. There must be more. Here we go. Ah, I always press the acid accidentally. Only one is left. I'm going to wake him up soon. It was a good idea to wake them one by one. I'm lucky I was the first. Alright, one more. Maybe. Only time will tell. I bet there's another one of these over here somewhere. Here? Bam! Two! Alright, now is this all of them? Can robots commit sins? Can robots pray? If there's a god, humans are not our creators after all. Maker, help me! So many of these things unscrew. So some of them are damaged. I think that's just how the game works. Like you don't, you can't actually go everywhere. It makes sense to me. Oh, I need to get in here with the acid spray. Yes. Okay. What's this? What is it really? An iron hook. What are we hooking? Are we getting that robot out of the uh, out of the oil? No. Uh. Okay. Let's just check the other walls. You never know, and there might be somewhere else you can open up. Shit is going down in this place. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at this up here. After all, robots can live in this world forever as the contents of our brains can be copied. Poor people. Way to make me feel bad about being a person. Oh, I can pull that wall panel open. This, that's fucking... Oh, okay, look. Look at this. One, two, three. Three of the lights are now on. I'm doing good. I'm not wasting any time this time. What are you doing? Huge balloon. It's made of strong nanoplastic, inflated with such pressure that it got stuck between the walls. The harvested organs are working perfectly, even the integrated brain parts. I'm fighting against their thoughts. Their thought remnants. Okay, so basically what's happen, happening by the sound of it is... A robot is using, oh look, pop that shit. A robot is using people parts to become part person, become a cyborg, yeah, maybe. All right, look at this. We are here, oh, that doesn't look good. They're not in this room, the green smoke seems lethal. But is it? Okay, I can't enter this room. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, don't feel me now, walls, come on. Come on, walls. Nope. Oh, what's this? My screwdriver. Oh, the screwdriver landed in the grating somewhere. I should probably get it back. Haha, here we go. Oh, I lost the iron hook. Okay, so there must be something up here I can use a screwdriver for now. No. I don't know. Maybe this thing right here? Nope. Well, there has to be some other use for this screwdriver now. Because I, I needed to hook it back out. So I'm, I'm imagining there is something else we need to do with this screwdriver. Okay, well, I'm going back through here. There's got to be something in here, right? Oh, look, I can pick up the deflated balloon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate it right here and suck up all the gas. Come on. That's a, that's totally a good idea. Come on, you tell me that's not a... Oh, here we go. No, wait. 
You hear and see something burning in the barrel. Something poisonous. This room is not safe to enter. I thought I could maybe, like, put the balloon over it. Oh, I got really excited, but nope. Nope, fuck that. Not gonna happen. Should never forget to look up. There's always something up above you somewhere. You always miss it because you don't look up much. Someone told me, someone I work with, told me that at, uh, at some, like, workplace they put hundred dollar bills on the ceiling and every time someone would notice a one hundred dollar bill they would take it down and give it to them and it took them like months to find the first bill isn't that funny nobody looked up nobody looked up and saw a bill okay this liquid seems dangerous you better not use it maybe i gotta grab the oil from that uh the other place because it, it that that is some way that i did react i did interact with this object and they're saying that the liquids are dangerous because it could be acid. Now we know that the other one isn't acid because you can see that the robot is all like, hey, I am in this oil and I will never rust. So let's go get some. Huh? Boom. Oh, what? Oh, okay. This liquid is clear. Probably plain water. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought, I thought what happened was... I took up the oil and it turned out it wasn't oil at all and it was actually water. But no, they're separated by two different, uh, they're, they're two different areas. But look, now we can douse this fire with the big balloon full of water. Bam! Nice shot! You threw the water-filled balloon into the barrel. The poisonous fires extinguished, the smoke dispersed. And what's this? Some kind of elect control electronics. Apparently faulty. And the electric, okay, so the control seems faulty on this door, so this is what we need to do to win the game. Let's screw drive it. What? Shorted the circuit, really? That easy? And is that it? Are we done? I don't see anything else to do. Let's read it. Memory copying equals eternal life for robots. Alright, is this the end of the level? I think this is the end of the level. It is the end of the level. I didn't have any trouble with that. I had to look around a little bit, but for the most part, that was pretty awesome. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, because I will be doing level 4 of Dead Cyborg. Goodbye.